नमस्ते टू एवरीवन आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय यूट्यूब वीडियो चैनल टुडे आई विल डेली वर लेक्चर ऑन ग्राफ थ्योरी लेक्चर नंबर थर्टी फाइव इन व्हिच आई विल डिस्कस ऑन नेटवर्क फ्लोज नाउ विश टू नो व्हाट इज नेटवर्क फ्लोज ए नेटवर्क इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय ए वेटेड कनेक्टेड ग्राफ इन व्हिच देयर एग्जिस्ट नो लूप वेटेड ग्राफ मींस ईच एज इज असाइन टू ए नॉन नेगेटिव नंबर एंड कनेक्टेड मींस ग्राफ इज कनेक्टेड there is a path between any two vertices and this weighted connected graph should not have any loop for a network here vertices denote the stations or places edges are links through which the given commodity commodity means such as oil gas number of messages etc flows the weight associated with each edge represents the capacity of the edge for example here weight of this edge is 9 that means the capacity of this edge is 9 means through this edge nine amount of commodity flows the capacity of an edge is the maximum amount of material which can flow through the edge now we have some assumptions for network problem number 1 at any intermediate vertex the amount of material entering is equal to amount of material leaving for example here let we take this vertex this vertex is v1 let amount of material is entering here 9 and amount of material leaving here here 3 4 7 and 2 9 similarly here we see that in this vertex b2 amount of material entering is 3 plus 5 equal to 8 and 8 amount of material is leaving in this way we may see that here in this this is v3 vertex here 10 material is entering and here 6 plus 4 means 10 material leaving number 2 the flow in any edge cannot exceed the capacity of that edge if a, here here we see that the capacity of this edge is 9 so through this edge more than 9 commodity cannot flow number 3 there is no loss of material during the flow means we do not get any loss during the flow of the material these are the assumptions we find maximum flow possible between a specified pair of vertices for example let here we have vertex a and here vertex b we have to find maximum flow possible between these two vertices a network can have several different 
maximum flows because we have different paths consequently we may find different maximum flow so root of the maximum flow may not be unique but its value is unique now we define the concept of cut set with respect to a pair of vertices a cut set with respect to a pair of vertices a and b in a connected graph g is a cut set of g that puts vertices a and b into two different components for example here we have a graph this is a connected graph g here the cut set b c e d b c e d this is a cut set if we delete the edges b c e d we get that v1 vertex and v4 vertex lie in different components the cut set ab ab the edges a and b are removed then vertices v1 and v4 lie in different components therefore these cut sets b c e d and a b are cut sets with respect to pair of vertices v1 and v4 but the cut set g e h j is not a cut set with respect to vertices v1 and v4 because if we remove these edges g e h j vertices v1 and v4 remain in the same component that is this cut set does not separate v1 and v4 now we define capacity of a cut set the capacity of a cut set s in a weighted connected graph g is defined as the sum of weights of all edges of the cut set s now we prove a theorem the name of the theorem is max flow mean cut theorem mean, means maximum flow minimum cut theorem statement is the maximum flow possible between two given vertices a and b in a network is equal to the minimum of the capacities of all cut sets with respect to vertices a and b now we prove this let s be a cut set with respect to vertices a and b in a weighted connected graph g therefore after removal of s from g there exists no path between vertex a and vertex b that means every path from a to b in g must contain at least one edge from the cut set s therefore in every flow from a to b or b to a there must pass one or more edges of the cut set s therefore value of any flow between a and b 
is less than equal to capacity of any cut set with respect to A and B. Here we see that in every flow from A to B or B to A, there must pass one or more edges of the cut set S. This means in every flow here, we take the value of any flow between A and B here. And right side is the must pass one or more edges of the cut set S. This cut set S is a cut set with respect to A and B. We may take one or more edges of the cut set S. So in right side we may write the capacity of any cut set with respect to A and B. Here we have value of any flow between A and B. So we may take the maximum flow, any flow. Here we have any flow. Now in place of any flow we take maximum flow between A and B. And capacity of any cut set right side with respect to A and B. We take minimum of capacity of all cut sets with respect to A and B. So proved. Now we solve a problem. Find maximum flow between A and B in the diagram given below. In this figure, arrows indicate the direction of flow from node. Node means vertex. Here we see that this is graph G1. This is a weighted connected graph. Each edge is assigned to a non-negative number. We know that maximum flow between vertices A and B is less than equal to minimum of capacity of all cut sets with respect to vertices A and B. So we have to find the minimum of capacity of all cut sets with respect to A and B. Here if we take this edge with 5 plus 7 plus 4, 7 plus 5, 12 plus 4, 16. So this is 16. Here we take 3, 4, 1 and 6. 4, 3, 7, 1, 8 and 6, 14. This cut set was 16. Cut set means here we have to take such type of cut sets such that Removal of edges of the cut set makes A and B into different components. So we find all cut sets with respect to A and B and we have to find the minimum of capacity of these cut sets. Here we get that this 3 plus 4 plus 1 plus 6 means 14 is the minimum capacity. This is minimum of capacity. of all cut sets with respect to A and B and this is equal to 14. So 14 is the answer. Now we solve the next problem. 
problem is obtain the maximum flow in the network of the given figure. This is graph G. Here also be the same case. Since we know that maximum flow between vertices A and B is less than or equal to minimum of capacity of all cut sets with respect to A and B. Now we have to find the capacity of a cut set with respect to A and B which capacity is minimum. Here we see that if a, the cut set contain age, this age of weight 4 and this age of weight 8 means capacity of the cut set will be 8 plus 4 12 if we remove these edges then vertices A and B will be in different components here we see that 9 plus 4 13 this is also a cut set with respect to vertices A and B, but here capacity is 13, here capacity is 12, and 12 is the minimum. So, minimum of capacity. of all cut sets with respect to A and B B this cut set 4 plus 8 equal to 12 and this is the maximum flow in the network here also, this is the minimum of capacity of all cut set with respect to A and B is 14. And this is the maximum flow between A and B. Thanks for watching my video. If you are satisfied with my presentation and contents, then please click on like button and do subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.